In the previous tutorial, we found three programming solutions for a simple light switch circuit. We will continue to build on the if-then-else statement introduced earlier to find solutions for the next two light control circuits. This next circuit introduced a second switch to turn the light on. In order to get the light to turn on, we need to close switch 1 and switch 2. How do we translate this into GCL Plus? Turns out the word AND is a logical operator we can insert into the conditions of our IF statement. We can simply insert it after our first condition. Type in the word AND, and then I can look at my second switch. We can check or validate our programming. It looks good. And now let's check and see if this is going to work with the second switch that we have wired in to our Delta DTD. We can save our program down to the controller, and now let's push some buttons to see if it works. You can see if we push each button individually, the light does not come on. But when we push switch 1 and switch 2, we got our light to come on. So our program is working the way we need it to. The other wiring example we need to program is with the two switches wired in parallel. In order to turn the light on, we need to close switch 1 or switch 2. How do we translate this new requirement into GCL Plus? Well, in addition to the AND logical operator, we also have a few others, one of which is the word OR. We can put OR in the place of AND in our IF statement. Once we have that saved, we can then test our program by pressing switch 1 or switch 2. And here we can see if we push either button or a combination thereof, our light comes on. So our program is responding the way we want it to. Up until this point, our wiring examples have focused on different input requirements. But what if we need to enable more than one output based on our input conditions? Here we have added to our wiring schematic a fan motor that needs to be turned on at the same time as our light. The fan on our trainer not only requires an on-off signal to enable it, but it also requires a 0 to 100% speed signal, just like a VFD. These points are already in our controller and they're wired up. So how do we add this to our if statement? First, I will show you how to program it correctly. Here we have added our fan enable point and our commanded speed to our if statement. Lines 6 and 7 turn it on and lines 10 and 11 turn it off. We can save this to our controller and test it to see if now the lights and the fan turn on together. I will now show an example of how not to program this. Only because 1. A lot of people make this mistake and 2. The compiler will actually let you save it to the controller even though it does not work. Note how we have this one line with all these statements one after the other. This is how not to do it. Now that I have shown how not to do this, remember, the statements that you want executed need to be listed on separate lines. We have covered a lot of points in this short tutorial on GCL Plus programming and introducing you to the if-then-else statement. And hopefully we've given you a few pointers to help you avoid some common mistakes as you start to learn.